<laughs> this is great! <laughs> Happy 80th birthday, Kay. <laughs> By the time you see this video, you will have probably had a couple of mimosas and you will know that you were surprised. I hope, maybe not, but I can't wait to hear all the details to see your super sleuthing over the last week or two if you had any idea that this was coming. But um, anyway, huh, it's bizarre to me that your 80th birthday is here. Um, watching Brooke and Lily's videos actually brought me to tears just to kind of, um, I don't know, see it from their eyes. Um, you've been an integral part of our lives since 2003. Um, from the moment we met you when you <laughs> came storming out of your house to make sure Russ did not step on your flowers when he parked his big old truck by your natural area over there, um, to today where we're sitting here in my house um, all these years later. Just the memories we have created, the time we've spent together, it's been invaluable. You are not just a neighbor, you're not just a friend, you are family. Um, we can't imagine our lives without you. You are a counselor, a confidant, um, a fun friend. I mean, it's it, you're probably my best friend, to be honest. Um, and I don't want to talk about how young you look and your age because everyone said it, but it's, it's true. You've taught me that age is just a number. I mean, we have more fun and talk about more things together than probably, um, than I probably do with any of my other friends. So, um, in person at, at your memorial, I'm going to say some funny stories. So for now, I'll just keep it short and just tell you how much we love you, um, how much we care about you, and thank you for just being you. You have um, taught me a lot. I, I, uh, I have to say I'm just so thankful to have you in my life. And I wish you many, many more years of happiness and health and youthful appearance and energy. So happy birthday, Kay. Love you. Welcome to Kay's Memorial Garden at Mary and Karen's. Many of the flowers and trees were given to us by Kay from her garden. Her green thumb will be remembered for many years to come. Bless her heart. Thank you, Kay. Hi. Well, I've never done this before, but what can I say about Kay Miller? All I know is I met her about five years ago, walking into the senior center to learn how to play bridge. And they always say God oh, closes one door and opens another. Well, he did when Kay came into my life because I don't know where I would be today without her. She, she was so patient with me. She taught me how to play bridge because Lord knows we couldn't understand a word that man said. And without her, I, I would have never learned how to play. I would have never met all the friends there that I did. And I thank her every day. I also found a pal who loves to cook and bake and we can bang recipes off each other and that's another good one. All I know is my life is much nicer since I've known Kay and um, I'm glad that she came into my life. Good morning again, it's me, Kay. I forgot to wish you a happy 80th birthday. I'm such a putz. Anyway, can you tell I'm nervous? <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Happy 80th birthday. Yay! Hi, Kay. This is Y and O. We celebrate this wonderful occasion with wine and sweet words. Today is the perfect time to tell you how much you are appreciated for all you do for so many and how much you are loved for the amazing person you are. You have created a wonderful life with friends, many of whom who have become family. Here's to 80 years of incredible you. We wish you many more years of health and happiness. Happy, Happy birthday, Kay. To you. 
So, usually growing up when you're a kid and you move into a neighborhood, you usually find friends that are your age, you know, people around the neighborhood to hang out with. But Lily and I were a little different. Um, we found Mizzy across the street. Mizzy and Sable, and then Mizzy and Bailey. And that's where we hung out a lot of the time. Um, we would go over there for grilled cheeses and we'd make cookies. And I'm not even sure what we did in her basement for hours on end. Um, but Mizzy was just always there if we needed something for a school project. Actually, we did an entire school project together about sewing and making outfits. And I almost learned how to sew. Um, but I've just learned so much from Mizzy over the years that I've known her. And all of my favorite memories from growing up have been with her, just in the secret garden, playing Mexican train, seeing what kind of birthday cake she'd make for me every single year. Um, and Mizzy's just, just a huge part of our family and I could not imagine holidays, celebrations, or graduating without her being there. So thank you for just the huge impact that you've had on me and our family, and we love you so much. Happy birthday, Kay. Well, are you Kay Shadon or are you Kay Miller? You were Kay Shadon when I was at Mars Hill, and we had a very interesting year at Mars Hill. We enjoyed our roommates with Ellie and Roddy, but we absolutely were very strict and absolutely no dancing, as you recall. However, we had excellent professors. I was a cheerleader and you were in a lot of organizations and head of some of them. We made lots of good friends. I tried to keep up with you through the years, but we lost touch. And I was so happy when we got back together and got to be with Ellie and go to her beach house. It was fun. As you know, I gave my oldest daughter your middle name after, <clears throat> so she is Ron LaKay Henry. You did visit me after I was married and she was born. I hope I have enjoyed our friendship through the years. I wish I could have taken more trips with you that you led. I can't believe we're as old as we are. I've always admired you and I love you dearly. Here's to many more years of friendship. I met Kay 25 years ago when we both worked at WRAL and I fell in love with her immediately because she's so smart, she's so funny. She is one of those people who is qualified to do crossword puzzles in ink and you always want that kind of person around. And uh, when she left WRAL, you know, you always tell people when they leave work, oh, let's keep in touch, and you never do. But Kay is one of the four or five people over a quarter century of working that I've actually kept in touch with. Uh, I was trying to think about uh, what are some uh, stories that really exemplify uh, who Kay really is. And I think of two. First one is when we were working at WRAL, her mother died. And after she'd been out for a while, she came back to work, and we're all sitting in the office back there, and Kay announced that she was now an orphan. And we all laughed and cried a little bit. It was this wonderful, cathartic moment. The other story is that sometime after 9-11, Kay and I were in the Sweet Tomatoes in Cary having lunch, and we were just commiserating about the grim state of affairs in the world. Uh, society's coming in on final approach. Uh, we have a bleak future ahead of us. You know, just pretty dark conversation. And uh, as we're having lunch, the, uh, talking about this, this little eight-year-old girl walks by carrying her tray of salad, and Kay kind of points at her with the fork and says, glad I'm not her age. And now every time I see a kid, I think, <laughs> glad I'm not their age. So, uh, what a gift that was. Uh, something that I still think about and, uh, and laugh about. More recently, Kay taught me how to play bridge, which for years, decades, I had seen that bridge column in the newspaper and thought I needed a decoder ring to understand what it was talking about, and Kay gave me the decoder ring, and now I understand it. But more importantly, Kay taught me canasta, and more specifically, handy foot canasta. So now we have a canasta club. 
and we get together every month and play Canasa and have lunch and laugh and through that I have met another circle of fabulous ladies and I have made new friends thanks to Kay and Canasta and I'm grateful for that. She uh, recently reminded me that it is a southern curse to thank people for plants that they give you because the plants will die. So I will not thank you for the plants, but I will thank you for everything else that you've given me. Uh, I, I love you, and I hope that I look that fabulous, think that clearly, and feel that good when I turn 50. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Boy, have it been a long, long time since we met one another. What a great pleasure that has been. I have really enjoyed knowing you, uh, gosh, since the late 70s. Uh, Libby Burton and uh, Nancy Morshman introduced me uh, to go on trips with you, and what a wonderful trip that has been. I really enjoyed all of the trips, especially the Paris trip. We've had so many laughter and fun times together, and I know you remember being with me when my loved one passed. Uh, what a blessing you were to have been there right with me, and I thank you for all you've done. We need to get to rather work together soon and have a lot more time to chat and have fun together, and let's go some places and do something fun. Enjoy your 80th and I will make that with you soon, just in a year and a half. You have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday, Miz. Well, I've known you for 22 years almost, I guess. Um, I can't believe you're 80 years old. When I met you, I guess you were almost... 60, and I thought you were about 50 when I met you, so I guess back then the 60 was the new 50, and now 80 is the new 60, I guess, because you're a, you're a freak of nature, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we done a lot together, uh, all our projects and so many things, the remodeling of kitchens and bathrooms and flooring and doing ceilings together over here, scraping the ceilings and I don't know, sewing things and all kinds of stuff, painting, it's been a ride, I'll tell you, but uh, in fact, one of her masterpieces is right behind me on the mantle, that's a truck she made of my truck out of plywood it's really good one of her many talents um i don't know i'm so blessed to have you on our uh, me and my whole family to have you in our lives um i think it's fate that we moved in across the street from you and um it's been great you're like family to us i don't know what we would do without you you're always there to help and uh when the girls were little and you helped raise them and you were always there to pick them up if we needed you to or anything. Um, I remember they used to play at your house and you'd bake with them and all, just do all this stuff with them and it was great. And uh, I remember Sable, poor Sable passed away and then you, you were looking for another dog and you and I rode up to... Uh, Oxford or somewhere up like by Roxboro to look at a dog and we didn't end up we, we didn't end up getting that dog that day but then you went without me with another one of your friends I can't remember who and got uh, Bailey and she's part of the family too now so anyway we love you um you, I know you're going to be around for many 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 more years and uh, hopefully we'll be saying. Uh, 100 is the new 80 in 20, in, uh, in 20 years, so, um, all right, well, I love you, um, happy birthday. Hi, I met Kay several years ago through the Carrie Newcomers Club. We have since played cards, 
and games, Mexican train, and various other games at different people's homes. I have met a lot of lovely people through Kay, and perhaps she's met a few through me. Uh, she is an avid gardener and has helped me this year uh, with my gardening and has also provided me with some plants that hopefully will come up next year and I can enjoy them at my home as much as I have enjoyed seeing them at Kay's home. Recently, uh, I have taken back up sewing and Kay is also an avid sewer. So she has been helping me do some sewing projects and we've been chatting back and forth. We get together occasionally. We don't get together as much as we used to, but uh, hopefully soon that will end and we can all get together and have fun again. Um, I really enjoy Kay's friendship and I hope that we can be friends for many years to come. And Kay, I want to wish you a very happy 80th birthday. Birthday, like everyone else has been saying, it's insane how old you're turning when you look and act so much younger. I just wanted to take the chance to thank you and tell you that I really appreciate you. And I appreciate how you've been in my life and Brooke's life ever since we were children. We just have so many memories, like putting leaves on Sable's back. And one of my favorite memories is that anytime we would ask you if you had anything, no matter what it was, you would always have it downstairs in your basement, which I thought was so funny. And I just have so many happy memories with Brooke in your basement, like playing with the fun cakes, like the fake cakes and sewing, and you just made fun of our grammar and taught us so much about life. And when I moved to Wilmington, I it was so weird not being able to see my family and you. You two were probably the only people that it was weird not being able to see on a daily basis. So I just wanted to say I really appreciate you and it's crazy how old you're turning and I'm just glad I can be here over break and I hope you enjoy it. Hi Kay, just wanted to wish you a happy 80th birthday. You made it, that is great. Also, i like to let you know how much I have enjoyed playing games, cards at your house with a group of people. It was so much fun. We laughed and had a good time. Also, the desserts were delicious. Anytime you're making a new dessert and you need somebody to sample it, call me. Also, I hope you have a wonderful birthday and many, many more. Happy birthday, Kay. Happy 80th birthday, Kay. I'm so glad we both made it to this milestone. It's good to be able to share it with you via video. Well, as you know, we became friends when we were sweet mates at Mars Hill Junior College. I was this naive Southern gal from a small mill town and you were this very wise New Yorker. And as different as we were though, we became good friends and I'm so glad we did. And that our friendship has lasted through all these years. When I think back to those days, one of the things that stands out for me at our time at Mars Hill was you loved Broadway musicals and you learned all the songs that came from them. And you would serenade us with many of those hit songs. And I enjoy them. It was good to listen to you sing. And you're also not only a great writer, but you're also a good storyteller. And I still retell your story of when you and Irene, your sister, took that mule trip down the Grand Canyon. <laughs> It was a delightful story. And there's so many others I could share, but time hastens on. You've been a good and faithful friend, and I'm so glad I was your sweet mate and got to know you. And I still value your friendship. I just wish we could see each other more often. Well, best wishes for a wonderful, fantastic 80th year, and I pray you will have many more. God bless you. Happy 80th birthday, Kay. <clears throat> Just want you to know you're the youngest looking 80 year old that I know. 
and you are also the most ambitious 80 year old that I know. I know many 50 year olds who couldn't possibly do what you do in the way of yard work and housework, remodeling bathrooms and kitchens, etc., etc. Well, we've had a lot of fun since I met you, which I think was in 2007, thanks to Mary Lavash introducing us at Bond Park for a walk. Since then, we've had a lot of walks together, both at Lake Pine and at the Cary Mall. One of my most memorable experiences with UK was when we went to Asheboro to get Bailey. It was a very long drive and we had we talked about just about everything. And when we got there we found this absolutely adorable puppy and you fell in love right from the start. On the way back to uh, Raleigh we stopped to have lunch at a, I can't remember what the restaurant was but it was like a historic tea house type place. We sat outside, tied her to the table leg, and had a nice little lunch. And that was just the beginning of your adventures with Bailey. Some of the best adventures I think you've had were our walks around Lake Pine, <clears throat> where she tried to rip off your arm every time she saw a squirrel or something moving in the bushes. For a couple of years there, I was thinking you were going to send her back, uh, but you stuck it out and you became great friends with Bailey. She's a sweet dog and I think she's always liked me and always wants to sit on my lap when I'm at your house. <laughs> okay, I've really appreciated your friendship, uh, your knowledge. There's not a subject that you don't know something about. And I'm always looking forward to running things, ideas by you to see what you have to think about them. Uh, we played a lot of canasta together and now it's hand, knee, and foot. You're very active with a lot of ladies playing cards now, and I'm glad I'm back in the North Carolina area so that I can take part in some of those games as well. Looking forward to more lunches with you, breakfasts, card games, and walks. I hope you have a great day and a great year turning 80. I love you, Kay, and I hope we get to spend a lot more time together. Bye-bye. Well, like I should say, welcome to my YouTube channel. But anyway, I'll just start, because it's Miller time. Kay Miller time. I first met Kay in 1966. Yes, 55 years ago. We both worked at the Raleigh Times she was on the copy desk, and I covered City Hall and the schools and I don't know what else. But all these Southern seasons haven't really changed her much. She's still pretty much the same, you can't con me, I can get it for you wholesale kind of Long Islander that she was. Except for a few pounds around the middle, she even looks pretty much the same. And she's still energetic, determined and does pretty much what she wants. She doesn't even have gray hair. She's had many, many jobs. Even while she was at the Raleigh Times, she worked part-time for WPTF. Back then, of course, she couldn't be on the air because women's voices were considered scandalous on the air, I guess. But anyway, among other things, she's also been at the North Carolina Supreme Court the Winston-Salem Journal, a Greensboro TV station, uh, and she's been a vice president of Duke. She's also been an entrepreneur. She formed her own travel company for women, which took a lot of hard work and a lot of nerve, and it was a big success. She wrote a cookbook for Bart Rittner, if you remember him, he was on Ask Your Neighbor um, on WPTF, and she made a fortune out of that. She and I wrote a journalism book that did not make a fortune. In fact, I think we somehow lost money on it. Even though I heard it was on sale uh, in the Harvard bookstore and in India. But she was the one who kept pushing to get it done. I would have given up after the introduction, but she kept saying, let's do it, let's do it. 
She's made many, many European and South American trips, maybe some others I don't know about. She and I had lots of fun on these trips, even though it seemed as every time we went on one of them, some kind of worldwide catastrophe would happen. We were exiled in Paris when that volcano went off in Iceland. We didn't even know how long we'd be there. And it may sound like a great thing to be in Paris, and it was, except we didn't know if we'd ever get out. We were also in Paris in a train strike. We had to share one seat for hundreds of miles on the train. And then the tsunami was one, one time we were on a trip. Anyway, you can keep going, lots and lots of disasters. And she and I used to spend lots of time on auctions and garage sales. And one time she bought a red wooden wall clock that sat in my basement for decades because every time I'd have a yard sale, we'd try to sell it again unsuccessfully. Kay has many, many generous traits um, to people for people like my grandchildren. And also she made like once a hundred pillowcase dresses for some poor children in Kentucky. But she rarely spurges on, uh, spurges on herself. When she called me to say that she had um, come to work that morning wearing a jacket she first wore in seventh grade. She has many friends from the long ago past. She still writes to a fourth grade pen pal in Japan. And when the woman's husband died, Kay made her a thousand little origami swans because that's a Japanese tradition. Kay has many talents. She gardens, she sews, she cooks, she watercolors, and she's a champion at card games and board games. She can even use a circular saw. She's never sick. She never takes medicine. She has no scars. She's never been in the hospital. She has no creaking joints. She doesn't complain about her health. So this living eulogy stuff is perfect for her because we'll all be dead before she has her funeral. But one more thing, as one slightly tarnished golden girl to another, okay, thank you for being my friend. <laughs>